in this video I want to talk a little bit about my home server setup or my uh, home lab so uh, what you see in front of you here is uh, my rack and it actually started out as a, a do-it-yourself uh, photo booth and um, it ended up being perfect for a, a server rack and it's about two feet wide two feet deep six feet high and um, all I did was cut some holes in it and add some supports to hold all the extra weight and uh, really it's worked out perfectly actually already had the monitor in there so I just added the platform for the keyboard and mouse and I was good to go uh, so up here at the top you're going to see my Dell Power Connect uh, 5324. It's a 24 port gigabit switch and I picked this thing up off eBay for about a hundred bucks and uh, it's been pretty solid. Uh, you see off to the left here all these gray cables are the runs down to my server hardware and uh, the blue ones over here to the right um, mostly just run upstairs to my Xbox, PlayStation 3 uh, and there actually is one in there too that runs up to my uh, wireless router and uh, out to the modem. And then the other cable there to the right is my console cable to manage the switch that runs down to the cube behind here. And uh, that little gray box there is actually a four port KVM switch. You use that to uh, switch the keyboard, video, and um, mouse between all the hardware, all the different servers. And next you're going to see the uh, 20 inch Acer monitor that I have flush mounted to the rack. And uh, there's my keyboard and mouse. All of this is running up to that KVM switch so it can be shared out amongst all the servers and the cube console that's behind here. This was actually my original server here. Uh, this was custom built using spare parts kind of Frankenstein together. Um, it's an Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600 at uh, 2.9 gigahertz. Uh, it's got 8 gig of RAM. Uh, an assortment of uh, 7200 RPM SATA drives. Uh, this thing has been great for virtualization and getting into it. I built it for less than 300 bucks and um, it's run uh, VMware ESXi 4 and 5 and uh, filled up. I used about four machines on it, splitting the hardware up evenly and uh, like I said it runs great. Uh, this is primarily my web server now and I run a load balancer on it too. Okay, so next up is my Dell PowerEdge 2950 Generation 2, and uh, this thing's a monster. It's got two Xeon quad cores, 16 gig of RAM, uh, six 73 gig hard drives arranged in RAID 5 with a Dell Park 5i RAID card. Um, it's got a DRAC 5 outback and dual power supplies. I'm actually running six virtual machines on this right now. It's running my entire IIS 7 web farm uh, load balance with uh, SQL, MySQL databases on it. And this last one on the bottom here is my newest addition. It's my Dell CS24SC. Uh, I guess this is Dell's line of cloud servers. Uh, it's kind of a stripper. Um, it, it doesn't really have a whole, whole lot of features, but it's got a ton of CPU and it's got a ton of RAM, and this thing packs a punch in a small package. Um, it's got four hard drives in the front, miscellaneous size. I'm not running RAID on this, but it does have a RAID card. Um, two Xeon quad cores at 2.5 gigahertz, um, 16 gig of RAM and uh, it's got on a built-in BMC controller for uh, remote connectivity. Right now I actually have uh, three virtual machines running on this one, but it's got plenty of room for expansion on it, and uh, it, it runs good. I'm actually uh, hosting a uh, Windows 7 media server off of it that I use to uh, stream video and stuff to uh, PlayStation 3, and uh, it works great. And uh, you wouldn't believe that there's other stuff running on this, like a domain controller at the same time. But uh, yeah, it, it was cheap, and it, uh, it runs really good. So you've seen pretty much the whole front side of my rack here. Uh, you know a little bit about the servers, and uh, you've seen my console and how I use that. Um, let's take a look at that KVM real quick in case you don't know how one of those works. The KVM, you have one keyboard, video, and mouse, and uh, you hook them all up to the switch, and then you hook the switch up to all your hardware, and then in my case I use scroll lock, scroll lock, enter to switch among the servers. So I can basically use this keyboard, mouse, and monitor on all my machines without having to change the plugs around and I can quickly switch from one to the other and that's pretty much it and then you see here it shows you on the, uh, the KVM itself which one you're on alright so now we take a walk around to the back side of this and I get a look to see how it's all tied together and I see there's a ton of cable. Um, Velcro helps out a ton with the uh, cable management. If you go to Walmart, you can get a big roll of Velcro for like 10 bucks, and uh, it really does. It helps keep it all together. Otherwise, it'd be even more of a mess back here. To the top there, we're gonna see the back side of the network switch, and then uh, off to the left is the back of the KVM, and we see the uh, the four big runs there to each machine. And then we're gonna see that's the back of the 20-inch monitor there. And uh, this little guy off to the left here actually started out as a uh, HP Pentium 4 with a gig of RAM. And I uh, cut it all apart and rearranged it to be the smallest possible package. 
And uh, it, it works good. It serves its purpose. It has a serial port, so I can connect to my Switch. It runs Windows 7. I can uh, check on my virtual machines and stuff real quick down here. And uh, there you see my main network runs. And uh, we see the, on the back here is the uh, the backside of the uh, custom PC that I built. It's got two big 140 mil fans on it. The thing's got tons of cooling, three gigabit NICs, and uh, it runs nice and cool. And you see a felt pad there on top of the 2950, so I don't scratch it when I uh, pull the other one out to work on it. And we see the uh, back of the 2950, the dual power supplies, four gigabit NICs, D rack off to the left there. I think it's just uh, it's a sweet machine. And uh, this is the backside of my uh, CS24. You see a little bit less going on here. Dual gigabit NICs, management port, single power supply, and uh, it's a good running server. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's the whole backside of my server rack here. See, there's a lot of cabling. Oh, uh, let's take a look at the uh, UPS here first. Um, this is my first CyberPower UPS. It's a 1000 kVA. It's a little undersized for what it's become, but uh, originally it didn't start out as destined for all this. But uh, you see it shows all kind of options on the front display here. So you notice up at the top that it shows the uh, load capacity and the battery capacity. It shows right now we're putting out about 550 watts. Um, 540 is usually the average, 600 on the high side, see it's at 90% capacity, 100% charge, and it has two minutes of uh, battery runtime. So that pretty much wraps up this one. Any questions, comments, hit me up below. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing a sneak peek of uh, inside my uh, server rack home lab and uh, what makes robwillis.info run. And uh, thanks for watching.